Oh my god. I'm so freaking scared right now. Just gotta commit. Day 11 of October. Let's get this mile in. One mile later, good start to the day. Um, just barely over eight minutes, but that's still good. You know, I just jogged the whole time. And since I went a mile straight from my apartment instead of the half mile away and a half mile back, the last of the mile was all uphill. So that's definitely a factor, but it's good. More intensity, more calories to burn. Every single morning when I wake up and I don't wanna go on a one mile run, I do it because I don't want to, you know? That's why I put it first thing in the morning because once I tackle that big obstacle, the rest seem easy in comparison. Yesterday, I woke up late, it was like 11 something, and I managed to get my whole routine done, but I wasn't able to get it edited and posted until like after work, and it was like 11.30 p.m. when it published, so it was cutting it really close, but I'm really glad that I kept the streak alive. We're 10 days deep, 10 days straight, staying consistent, and today is day 11, so I'm excited to have another great day, another day of completing my routine and checking the mark in the books. Luckily, I woke up earlier, it's like 9 a.m., so I'll have plenty of time before I have to go to work tonight and post it at a decent time, so yeah, I learned from my mistakes at least. Got some rising grinders over here. So nice out for real. <laughs> like, is it October? If you've been watching my series, you already know that I say you know way too much. I have caught myself every single time I edit saying it and yeah, no, don't worry about me. I'm not, you know, making a vlog or anything, but <laughs> that's definitely something I'm trying to fix and work on. So hopefully I can eradicate that from my vocabulary. I think I mainly use it as a filler word. Just, you know, the, ah, why? Just for pauses in between sentences, so. What I need to do is talk slower. New rebrand took way too long doing this, but it was ugly, so it had to be done. We woke up today at 9 a.m., got our mile out of the way. Now we are on 19 pull-ups and 24 bicycles. Our daily task is laundry, so I'm going to start that and then do that. Freaking crap, I don't think I've ever done 19 in a row. What the heck is going on? I am happy with that. What? What? It's weird because yesterday it took me like three sets to complete freaking 18, but I just did 19 in one set, so. <sighs> Doing this daily has definitely, you know, improved my calisthenics journey. Anyways, I changed the hanging knee raises. Since I don't have a back support, I'm not feeling as much in my abs as I want to. So I was just thinking, what is something better I can do to stimulate my abs daily? And I thought of the bicycles on the ground, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Yeah, that's a bit better because I'm able to just really activate my abs. The movement allows me to engage my abs more if I want to. You know, you kind of got to take advantage of the movement. And then I figured I'd just throw in stretching right after. Might as well. Oh, this one's so bad.
hamstrings, man. It's so painful. Boom and boom. Now I'm gonna hold off on the weigh-in and physique check because I kind of want to do that at the gym whenever I do my lift and stream. And I want to hold off on the hydrogen machine because <laughs> I threw my laundry in, so I gotta wait for that to get done. I'm really low on laundry. So we're gonna go ahead and skip to these. Just realize I forgot to put on the read at least three pages, so I'm gonna make some room and add that. We are on the next three pages of Atomic Habits. The seed of every habit is a single tiny decision, but as that decision is repeated, a habit sprouts and grows stronger. The task of breaking a bad habit is like uprooting a powerful oak within us, and the task of building a good habit is like cultivating a delicate flower one day at a time. Forget about goals, worry about systems instead. Goals are about the results you want to achieve, systems are about the processes that lead to those results. Let's say you completely ignore your goals and focus on your system instead. An example of this would be if you were a basketball coach and you ignored your goal to win a championship and focused only on what your team does at practice each day. Would you still get results? Probably. The goal in any sport is to finish with the best score, but it would be ridiculous to spend the whole game staring at the scoreboard. The only way to actually win is to get better each day. If you want better results, then forget about setting goals, focus on your system instead. And they're not saying that goals are completely useless because they're not. They set a good direction, but systems are best for making progress. A handful of problems arise when you spend too much time thinking about your goals and not enough time designing your systems. At the first of this month, when I decided to design this system of self-improvement, you know, all these tasks that I do every single day, the system that I have and I'm posting every single day, the reason I have this system is so I can reach my goals. I'm not focusing on my goals, which are becoming more articulate, becoming a better content creator, enhancing my vocabulary, becoming stronger, becoming more disciplined. Like obviously these are my goals, but it's the systems that allow me to reach these goals. So that's why I'm trying to focus each and every single day to complete my system. my reflection today I'm gonna be going over all my vocabulary words what I'm gonna do is look at the word and try to say the definition to myself and if I get it right I'll check it off because that means I know it if not I'll come back to it all right these are our vocab words for today starting off with redolence which means having a pleasant smell unfledged is young and not yet experienced dictum is a short important statement tact is skill in handling difficult situations carefully and numina are spirits that live in places or things it's so satisfying when i complete a bunch and am able to mark them all off at once so all of these are out of the way leaving us with just these two which i'm going to wait till after i go ahead and do these go to the gym work out stream it start it off with 100 push-ups and then post it when i'm done i do have to edit some short form content and post that but other than that we are pretty much done with today so i'm gonna go to the gym and start my stream all right leg day wrapped up We weighed in at 161 today, so we're not losing our weight. That's good. Means I'm able to eat good and go above that. So hopefully tomorrow I'm above 161. Any chance you all want to see a really cool magic trick? 
Oh my god, how do you do that? I don't know. He's just so magic and sexy. I know, it's just crazy. Instead of showing you me doing my routine, I'm just gonna show you all what I use. So of course, deodorant, five grams of creatine daily. I brush my beard. And in this order, I use hydrating facial cleanser because I have dry skin, then a vitamin C serum, moisturizer, which I'm almost out luckily because I wanna get a better one. And then we got SPF. Of course. Then I floss, clean my ears. This is for my lips and two toothbrushes. One is for toothpaste. And one is for this mixture right here for whitening. Boom, just like that, we're able to mark off these two. I got my stream and lifting out of the way. I did freaking 79 push-ups in a row before I had a drop to my knees, which is a PR. Can't believe I hit that. Go watch that stream. I posted it to YouTube, as you can see. And then I also posted my short form content for the day. So that completes day 11, which means... Here, let me grab my other marker. Boom, day 11 complete. We got our laundry done. I didn't do my whites, so I'll do that tomorrow. But yeah, day 11. I'm gonna edit this so I can post it and then get ready for work. But if you are watching this, I wanna say have a great day and you have so much potential within you. So please fulfill it. Please try your absolute best. You have potential in so many aspects. So there's so many different things you can do to fulfill your potential, but whatever you're passionate about, just do something small to fulfill at least a little bit of potential in that aspect. So. Feels good to say I'm 11 days strong. I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna stay sedulous. So without further ado, two things. Before I end this, I just had an insane idea, hopefully a crazy good idea and not a crazy bad idea. My heart is pumping, but I'm gonna try something I've never done before. And that is a backflip inside. Oh my God. I'm so freaking scared right now. Just gotta commit. Oh, I'll take it. Fuck waste of potential. Stay sedulous.